All right, time for another slightly redneck video. I went fishing today, and uh, usually I'm just a catch and release fisherman, but today I decided to keep a few for uh, for dinner. So I thought I'd do a video on how to fillet fish for those of you that don't know. What I'm going to be filleting is some uh, rock bass, goggle eye. Not real big fish, but boy, they, they sure do taste good. So I thought I'd do a little video here, um, describe what I do to fillet fish. You're going to need a fillet knife of some kind. I've got a couple of them, different ones here. This is a really old one passed down from the family. This is an old Gerber fillet knife. Um, this is a more recent one you can buy at Walmart for probably $10. Make sure it's sharp. Um, if you don't have a good sharpening stone, um, one of these little hand sharpeners like this, you just run your knife through. Works pretty well on fillet knives. You're probably going to need to sharpen it a few times before you get started. So let me get situated here and uh, we'll get into it and I'll, I'll show you how to do it. All right, so first thing I do usually is just lay out some uh, cardboard or something and some newspaper. This kind of catches everything and makes it easy to clean up. But um, if you're new to filleting fish, um, one thing that might make it a little bit easier, first thing you do is score it. Just take your knife and score it right down the backbone, right next to this dorsal fin. So all the way down. And what I'm going to do is just stick it in here. And now this is not absolutely necessary, but let me get the fish over here. I'm trying to do this on camera. But it does make it a little bit easier. And again, uh, there we go, just score it. You're not going to cut it all the way through. Just score it right next to that dorsal fin all the way down oh, to the base of the tail. And you're going to stop. Let me hold this up so you can see a little bit better. I scored it all the way down to about, to about there, and I've just got a cut. It's not a very deep cut. It's just a cut. All this is going to do is give you a guide to kind of go with. Do the same thing on the belly of the fish. Let me get this scored up here. And again, this is not absolutely necessary. You don't necessarily have to do this, but it does make it a little bit easier if you're new to filleting fish. Turn this fish around a little bit and get it cut, and then I'll show you how to do it. It's hard for me to do on camera. Okay. And again, all I did was score down the belly. Scored it from about here, run right alongside of the fins, right there, and this fin, all the way down to about the tail. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your knife, and I flip it up underneath this uh, fin right here, right up next to the, to the, uh, the gills, and you're going to cut through to the backbone. Do not cut through the backbone, just cut through to the backbone, and cut it all the way through until you get through to your score. This is why a sharp knife is important. It makes it a lot easier. Once you've got that done, let me turn this around so I can get to it. Take your knife. You're going to lay it sideways in here. Uh, let me. There we go. You're going to run your knife. Hopefully, you can see this. You're going to run your knife through where you're scoring. And I can't do this up in the air. I've got to do it down on the ground. You're going to cut through the ribs. all the way down to just before you finish the tail off. When you're done with that, you flip the meat over. Move this out here. Lay your knife sideways on the, on the meat, and you should be able to cut between the meat and the skin. And I find it easier if I lay my hand over the top of it. You're just going to run that knife all the way up between the meat and the skin, lay it flat, and you're going to cut the meat off of the skin. Now you've got the meat removed from the skin. You've got a rib cage right here that you need to cut out. If you're really good and really careful, you can fillet the uh, ribs out. What I do is I just run my knife kind of this way and they'll catch on those ribs. I'm not good at filleting the ribs out, but run it right along the edge of those bones. And you can cut them out. I'll turn it around. Do the same thing over here. I usually end up just having to cut them out of there. I'm not good at filleting around the bones. But... And we have a fillet. Fill along there. You may fill a rib bone or two, like I fill one right there. Usually what you can do is just grab them and kind of pull them out.
we go. So, then we've got a fillet. Now I'm going to do just the other, same thing on the other side. Wash these up real good, put them in a bowl of water and clean them up, and uh, it's ready to roll in some cornmeal. Do the same thing on the other side of the fish. Flip them over and do the same thing. Now I'm not going to worry about scoring them because, like I said, I know I'm filleted fish, but if you're new to filleting fish, it might help to uh, score them. Uh, there we go. Sharpen my knife. Again, cut down to the tail. Try not to cut it off of the uh, the tail. Start your knife there to get the uh, between the meat and the uh, skin. Get a fresh piece of newspaper here. out. There we go. Now I've got two fillets of fish and that's pretty much all there is to it. So hopefully uh, that helps you get better at this as you go. Um, a little bit of practice and uh, you'll get pretty good at it. But you got a couple of good fillets here that you can uh, just, like I said, wash them up real good, then roll them in cornmeal and fry them up with some uh, cornbread and some potatoes, and that's a pretty good meal. So hopefully you learned something here. Um, you know, get out, catch some fish, fillet them up, make sure you check the laws in your area so you know how many you can keep of what different species and what size they have to be. And uh, as always, leave your comments. Love to hear them. And uh, God bless.